What's up guys, my name is Anil and in this Vue.js video tutorial we will see how we can use the class and style bindings. So even if you are using the normal HTML tags you can uh, use the normally classes like this uh, class and you can pass here XYZ class and all right so this is pretty simple but many times we have to use the dynamic classes, conditional classes and all then how we can use them we will see in this video. So these are some points that we are going to cover in this video so first of all we will see how we can use the class as i told you this is a very simple but still this is a point of my video then i will still show you then how we can use the style with the binding all right and uh, class with the object class with the array and what are the benefits of these to using the class with the object and array structure and then we will see how we can use the classes with the conditional way and style with the dynamic properties and all right dynamic properties means we have some variables and all and we will get the style from these variable and use them all right so now let's start so this is my home component and we will do the all style this work in this component and if you don't know how we can make the component all and then you can watch our previous all videos link is given in the description box so as I told you, let's define a class and uh, class name can be um, very simple, just uh, view style. We can use this like. All right. Now let's uh, define a style tag here. So we are not going to use the stylus. So I can just remove here and let's define here view style. And uh, we can just make a color can be orange and let's check out the output make it refresh a little bit then you can see that we got the uh, style here all right so this is pretty simple and this is the same way we are using the in the normal um you can see that uh, uh, normal html and css all right so now let's see that how we can uh, we will see some more ways but before that i will show you that how we can use the uh, style all right so let's say i am just going to use a style then how can i use it so let's see how we can use a style so for the style we can use here v minus bind so this is basically a view template that's why we can use a view in the angular we use the ng template all right and here we will define here style and in this style here we can use some color and all whatever we want here you like so like this uh, yep and let's make here color and color can be uh, sky blue is it color present I don't know how to just use all right this is working here perfectly so and we can use this color dynamically also that how so now let's define some properties with the data function as I uh, as you know if we want to define some variable kind of properties then we can define here so just return here and inside the return object let's uh, define uh, color name all right and let's use here uh, sky blue like this and here i can simply use color name all right so this can be a dynamic way when we are to have a loop and all then we can use this kind of things all right so now let's uh, do the new thing how we can use the class with the object way so i am just going to make one more h1 tag here so that uh, you can see all styles here so style with uh, class with object all right uh, object so this is also very easy uh, then we have to use v minus bind and I will tell you the benefit of it then use the class and uh, in this class here we can define uh, some properties all right but uh, there is a way to use the object as you know have a key and value pair and then we have to check that if our value is true then only key class is applied so let's say display and i'm just going to sh uh, make it show 
if the show value is true then only display will be uh, class b will be applied here right so let's say if if we are going to check here then no class will going to be added here so you will see there is a no class here right for a moment so now what i'm going to do if i'm just going to make a true value then uh, you will see that display class is here so if we are using the show then this property should be present and it should be true right like this so now you will see that the class is still present here yeah and uh, let's add some style with this also so let's add dot display and uh, after the display let's make a background color mm -hmm. and it can be like piru right and let's add some padding padding can be 5 pixel that's enough for a moment and now you can see that the, the color is applied here all right and as i told you if this is will be false then it will not going to work because class is not applied here by the same way we can add the two more classes so if i want to add here like this then uh, let's say i just want to add a view style class also then view style uh, sorry view style and show is can be the same property can be used twice then you can see that the two classes are applied here all right so now let's uh, see that how we can use the same thing with the array also so just class with array and uh, then this is uh, more simple also we can just show the classes like this but here we no, don't need to add some uh, condition and all we can directly add here uh, display as well as uh, view style all right but they should be the property if we just want to add directly then there should be a normal string here so now you will see that okay that's my bad i have to just choose here single quotes like this yeah now these are applied here otherwise if we just want to use a normal property without string then they should be uh, property from here all right so if i just choose here d can be this and uh, v can be usually view style all right then, then uh, we can just simply put here d comma v and the classes will be gonna oh, oh. what's wrong with that mm -mm -mm. yeah we have to use them as an string so now still we have the uh, both classes are applied here all right so let's say you just want to add some style with the conditional then how you can do it for that let's say i have a uh, uh, some variable with the if and else condition let's say check display right and the property of this should uh, the value of should is true right and uh, now if i just want to check that if this can be only here if uh, check display is true then d class will be applied else v class will be applied now you can see that the background color is here and uh, which class is applied here for that you can see here and display class is applied here right because this is true if i am just going to here add here false then uh, view class will be added here like this view style so uh, this is the way that how we can use the conditional way with the array and uh, uh, yeah if, if you just uh, want to add a style with the color i already told you so this is the style with the property way right so all points are covered here so thanks for watching this video if you still have any kind of confusion you can ask me in the comment box don't forget to subscribe my channel and like this video